Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to SimCity Build It. If you look closely at the left side of the screen, you can see I have a problem. And it's not just all this stuff sitting on top of these uh, little stores here. It's the fact that my storage is just a little bit overflowing. As a matter of fact, it's actually worse than it appears. So let's take a quick look at it. Because I am getting a temporary storage boost that's going to expire in just over 11 days. So when that happens, well, that's going to be a big problem. And also, it is worse than it appears because you can say, well, when a design challenge comes, which is going to come in about less than two days now, I'll, I'll just be able to spend this stuff. Well, that's the problem. If you look, I don't really have useful things. Look, I have one piece of plastic. I have one seed, one piece of glass. But it gets worse than that, especially when you're talking about things that you're going to need early on. Like, for instance, where is my single nail? I have one nail. So this is a big problem. I got one shovel. So this is something I have to take care of. Now, what is clogging up my inventory here? Well, there is a solution to that. Yeah, right there at the bottom. The uh, expansion items. I could do some serious expansion here, you know what I mean? And that is something that I do want to do. But here's the thing. I don't want to do it in the capital city. You know, this place is kind of a wreck to a degree. Look, I have a line here where I own all of this, all the way up. And of course, I don't have that mountain one. I'll just wait for a little ticket to show up. But here's the thing. You'll notice I don't have any mountain items down. The reason is there's no reason for it. I mean, I used them for design challenges, but there's no reason to put them back because they're not doing anything. You see, they boost population. And this is where my industrial sector is. There is no population up here. And also, there's a small problem of that. So, I mean, if I put housing there, they'd be a little bit upset about that. Now, I could take all that out and put in, like, the really efficient ones that don't have, like, the stink radius. Uh, but the thing is, I think that this place is just kind of a wreck. And it's really not something you can fix either. Okay, here, take that. I guess they want mountain things. Yeah, see, here's the thing. One of the big problems is that I have this big gap. I don't even remember why I put it there. And in order to fix that, I'd have to grab everything, move it over, rip up the streets, rip up all the neighborhoods. It's just really kind of a mess. I wish the game gave you the ability to have a clean sheet with everything in a basket and then just rebuild from scratch. That is something I would really like. Um, well, the beach looks good. There's that at least. So what I would like to do is I would like to get the opportunity to use those items, but not here. So what I would like to do is to take the opportunity to open up a new region because I don't like the region that I have. All right, let's take a quick trip over here for a moment and let's go over to Green Valley. I thought I was going to like this one. I don't really like this one. Um, I think I would prefer something different. Another thing is that, well, these people are very uppity. You know, you have to have the... Uh, the stores, the specific ones, where is it here for a second? Yeah, the regional ones. They have to have their organic food, you know what I mean? And uh, is this going to expand my own storage? Is that what it does? I mean, I'd like to put it down, but I don't have no 5,000 leaves, that's for sure. And apparently what I missed, where is it here? Is this it? Nope, not that one. I have some money sitting in there. I just used some of it, though. Uh, is it this one? Nope, nope, not that one either. Oh, I got it. It's that one. Yeah, this one right here. All right. Oh, is it closed at the moment? Okay, so this is closed. This allows you to uh, do some trading of items to get the, um, the local currency, the regional currency. But I mean, I'd have to like spend a lot in order to do anything here. And I just don't like the way it's set up. See, the thing is, if I wanted to expand, this is going to cost me nine and nine. And then I'd have to spend another nine and nine over here. And if you look at that plot, it's not really very big. And it's not very unique. Now, I have actually looked at all these other ones, too. I was thinking, okay, I could do this one. But it really kind of looks like Green Valley to a degree, if you know what I mean. It doesn't look a lot different. It does give you the opportunities for the beaches, which I thought I was going to be able to easily get with the last one. But just not good enough. Um, then there was this one, 
which is a little strange. I mean, it's nice and it's green, but it basically it's just it's just an open flat area that kind of interferes with building. Here, let me get this out of the way here. That kind of interferes with building because you have this big area here of rock, and that doesn't even allow you to put mountain things down. And then at the bottom of the screen, you can see that there's another big area that's interfering. So your entire town is going to be an H. You know what I mean? You have this small area, and then it spreads out on both sides. Just I'm thinking, that's eh, not really very useful. Not very useful at all. And let me see here for a second. And then we have this one. I mean, if you want to build in the desert, that's good. It's just that this one is kind of boring. It's kind of like an orange capital area. It's just one big flat area, which is very similar. Except again, I don't see any mountain stuff up here. And there's clearly not going to be any uh, beaches. So it's basically a big flat orange area. And I said, if that's what you want, that's terrific. I was thinking maybe of something unique. So what I was thinking of, a second here, is this one. This one looks unique, and I'm kind of interested in this, and it does give me something to do with my mountain areas. See, it's kind of a long situation here where you have this chunk, and then there's mountains, and then there's tunnels going underneath. So I'm thinking I might want to try this and do initial expansions as much as I can with the, um, the expansion items that I have. Now, I can actually get a little bit more, but I mean, it just seems a little bit on the unique side, and I think I want to try that. At least maybe I can get to the population that allow me to move on. Now, I don't actually have enough space in terms of the population here. You see, you can see I have 14,105 of 15,000. Well, that's not really going to be a problem. If my inventory was empty, it really wouldn't be a problem. All right, let's go back over here. See, over here, I can just expand this one, right? I got these things. I got a bunch of them over here, the little packages. But then all I would have to do would be to get five tape measures. Each one of them is just a metal and a plastic. That really wouldn't be a problem. That's going to give me nearly 1,400 in population, and poof, I win. However, I, don't, I can't do that because I don't have those, and I can't take them at the moment. So I could, oops, sorry about that. I can go back and fix that. But I'm thinking what I will do in the meantime is I will add something to um, boost the population. At least I hope this is going to work. All right, I got the chicken. I think I need to use this one for the 30%. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's pick that up. All right, that's going to give me 1,600. I don't know, maybe I should use the chicken. Hold on a moment. Maybe, because I just want to get to the 15. I can always take it back later. All right, is the chicken going to do the job? The chicken looks like it'll do the job. All right, so why don't we put the chicken down? All right, I now have 15,000, nearly 200. Okay, so I can now get a new location. All right. And I just made my situation worse. Well, you know, that's for the storage area, so maybe we can do something with that. All right, I can always go back and fix this as soon as I can make the, uh, the tape measures, so that's what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I can unlock a new area. And like I said, I want to do the Frosty Fjords, so let's unlock that. Yes. Now, I am curious how much I would have to do to move on. Oh, look at those beautiful northern lights. Frosty Fjord sure is cold, but cozy too. Familiarize yourself with the local products and services, and the people will thank you. All right. So how do I do this? Am I building? I'm building this way, I guess. All right. Now, here's a question. Expansion. Oh, I need mountain expansions for that. Ooh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm sure I will get them in time. All right, what about these? Okay, this is four. How much is this one? That is three. Okay, I can do a lot of building here then. I can do a lot of building. I'm just, I'm all in. This is what I'm going to be doing. I'm all in. All right, we'll expand there. And then we'll expand there. Okay, what do we have up here? Okay, I got five over here. Then I'm going to run out. All right, what do we have here? Okay. All right, I'm going to do... Do I want to do the one next to the mountain? 
All right, you know, I do want to get to this bridge. So why don't we just do this then? Boom. And I think my inventory problems are fixed. Okay, so that's good. So that means I can just start building right here. And the good part about that is it is going to be, okay, how am I going to do this? All right. I should have a new house. Yes, I have these guys. All right, but then, of course, I'm going to, at a point, I'm going to start needing to put some uh, services down, if you know what I mean. All right, so let's see. I mean, I could always move these around later. Do I want to give a little bit of a space there? All right, why don't we just, for now, throw that there, and we'll throw this one here. Let's, oh, uh, pick that up. All right, hold it a minute. Hold it. Pick that up. Move it here. All right, what are you guys going to need? Okay, you need what? You'll need to use local goods to upgrade Foster Fjord's residential zones. Oh, that's right. I have to do the factory, don't I? Right, right, right. Okay, if it's fish, then... All right, hold on a second. Let's do the factory. Okay, the fishery. I mean, do I have to put that... Nick? I don't... Because I don't have anything over here. Um... I could extend the road for now, and then we can see how that works out. Because right. I'm thinking, why don't we put the fishery up here somewhere, just to keep it out of the way? Because I did have a bit of a problem with that the last time. All right, first things first. Let's just draw a road. Ooh. All right. And because we want to connect up. Oh, 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 right there. Oh, I can't do that. I have to go around. That's messy. That's very messy. All right, hold on a second. Back off. Oh, nope, 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 back off. That is messy. All right, and I don't think I'm anywhere near being able to get the next piece of land over here, right? I mean, I can get some, but just not enough. I might be able to do something with that. So I need five of the middle one, and I need four of the other. That would be a tough decision to make. All right, here's the thing. Oh, I can't do anything with that, can I? I guess I'm just going to have to make that turn. All right, you know what? I could always take care of that later. I mean, five isn't really hard to get to. All right, let's just draw this up until... Oh, wait a minute. Down here. Let's draw it up to the point where I have to uh, do something about it. Oop. All right, and more... All right, for now, we'll just leave it there. Boom. Okay, so I'm just going to put the fishery over here just so it's out of the way. And I'll move it eventually. All right, so... Okay, that is big. That is very big. Wow, actually, that smells in the area there too, doesn't it? I guess it's fish. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. It's long out of the way of what we're doing for residential stuff, right? Okay, so now I have fish available. All right, how do I make fish? Okay, fish can be used to upgrade residential homes in the, in the region as well as raw material to produce things. Right. All right, so this is the production. So, fish. Yes, I'll watch the video. All right, and we have fish. Of course, that's now filling my inventory up too, isn't it? Okay, do I have... Oh, I have to have a store, right? Yeah, the fish market. Now, does this have a radius? I don't think so. Oh, wow, that's, yeah, that's 13,000. It's not really a big deal. All right, we'll put them together. All right, that's going to probably allow me to produce canned fish. All right, so that's going to take a while. Oh, Ux, we have two of them, don't we? Uh, these regional products, like the canned fish, can be used to upgrade local housing. All right. All right, so I have... Oh, okay, that's right. So I need metal for that, and I need the other ones for that. Okay, that's fine. But at the moment, I'm not being asked for that. So we'll just keep those over there. So, oh, and it looks like I can build this here. So we have our first home. Finn simoleons are used as a currency exclusively in the Frosty Fjords. You can earn them by upgrading buildings in the Frosty Fjords. And you may spend them to buy regional services here. Yeah, there needs to be another way. I need taxes here. 
Uh, yeah, you don't have any water. No, actually, that's the, um, the what's the name of it? The fireman. Am I being busted for that yet? Okay, I don't think there's enough people yet that I have to worry about that, but I am going to have to worry about that. All right, uh, let's put down some more buildings just so we can get some stuff going. Now, here's a question that I have. Is there a building that has to... Geothermic plant. Okay, make sure that the freezer stays in the kitchen. Keep your citizens warm. Right. So this is what has to be near the housing. All right, do I want to even use the little one? Okay, what's the big one? Okay, that does a 12 by 12. That does a 6 by 6. What do you do? 24 by 24. And I'd rather buy one big one than a whole bunch of little ones. All right. Oh, do I not have enough? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one, ain't I? Yeah, all right, I can't do that. Ugh, what a shame. All right, well, I guess I have to do this. Oh, that is just horrible. That is just horrible. Uh, yeah, I was looking I was looking at the Neo coins. That's the problem. All right, we'll do this for now. I want to be able to put more houses down. All right, why don't we just throw it there for now? Okay, and what do you want? You want fish. You'll give me three. No, thank you. I'd rather have the fish. All right, what do you need? You need one wood and wood metal. All right, well, let me just switch back over here for a moment here. Uh, back to... Back to the capital. At least I can pick things up now. All right, so let's pick some things up. That that that'll do the job let's go back to our new home over here all right and let's do this one okay should i put some stuff all right for the moment i'm just going to put them all on the main avenue i'll worry about neighborhoods in a moment all right can you fit there yes you can and we can put another one over here. Okay, looks like I can upgrade this one. I just needed some fish. All right, you know what I didn't do? I didn't start the production of more fish. More fish, please. Okay, our population has skyrocketed to 168. All right, what do you need? Okay, so you just need some, you need one piece of plastic and one mineral. That's all you need. What do you need? Okay, I have to go over. Okay, this one here is for the uh, the green area, Green Valley. So I need something from somewhere else to do that. That's interesting. All right, well, I'll just take a quick trip over to Green Valley and grab one of those. Thank you. All right, this place is good for something, apparently. All right, now I'm going to go back to the capital and grab one mineral and one plastic. That way we can finish uh, two more houses there. All right, one mineral, one plastic. And I have inventory space, so I can actually do that. All right, and let's just go back over there. Yeah, the ability to generate the regional currency does seem to be the biggest hiccup. Oh, I needed a fish for that, didn't I? All right, I'm going to have to wait for the fish to show up. Okay, are they unhappy? Yes, they're unhappy. Oh, because they don't have water. All right, hold on a minute. Let's see, what can I do about water? You know, I might have to just temporarily... Here, move that down. Because I need space for, like, uh, the uh, utilities. All right, this way... So I'll do that until I can buy that piece of land there. All right, so let's see. I wanted water. I don't want to go crazy with all the little stuff. I might as well just get something halfway decent here uh, because it is asking for money, and I do have a lot. I mean, look at this one. This little guy is 6,000, and it's going to give me 9. This is 45,000, but it's going to give me 55. I won't have to worry about water here ever again. All right, is it asking for anything else yet? I'm guessing power is going to be the next thing. 
Oh, we're not actually producing any power? Oh, it's just not asking me for it yet. All right, I'm going to put a wind farm over here too, just so I won't have to worry about that for a long time. And nothing smells. I'm guessing sewerage and uh, dumping is going to come up next. Okay, you're offering me stuff. I will take your stuff. Okay, so I'll take some gold coins if you have them. Okay, I'll take the cash. I'll definitely take the cash. All right, now you probably need fish. Yeah, we need fish, so we have to wait for the fish. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. All I need is one piece of um, metal here, and then we can do that. All right, and of course, that's actually giving me the uh, progression on the red coins, so I might actually be able to get something from that. All right, so this shouldn't be too hard to buy over here. So we're just going to build out from here. Eventually, it's going to be asking me for fire, police, and health. So I don't know, maybe I'll just invest in the big ones. Um, I am going to need those mountainous areas, but I might get tickets for those. How much is this one again? Two. Two of each. Uh, maybe I should save them then. Yeah, I have to get them in order, don't I? Okay, anyway, I am going to be working on this. Okay, do I have another factory here? No, no, it's pointing at something else. And I did want to point this out because there was an update and they added something that I think was unintentionally hilarious. So we're going to talk about that last. All right, so this is good. This is going to go for a while. Of course, I do need to wait for the fish. Oh, you're not making... Oh, you don't have any fish, so you can't make anything. All right, so I'll wait until um, I have what I need. I got to make those spatulas, though. I mean, look, I need two spatulas for one fish soup. How is that a thing? Two spatulas? Why do I need two? Scooping the fish and scooping the vegetables? I don't understand that. All right, so let's go back to the capital because there is a couple things I want to talk about, including that hilarious thing. Um, I also want to talk about the design challenge because we're on hiatus at the moment, but I do have some blueprints to spend. So why don't we go over to here? Right, so at the moment it's on hiatus. It has been for a couple of days. In terms of results, I've been falling into the... Okay, the two was terrible. I don't know what the problem was with that. I mean, what's, why does that deserve a two? Seriously, why does that deserve a two? Ugh. Yeah, I got a 3.5 there. You know, I, I guess I had a lot of water in there. That's always a good thing, right? Um... 3.5, 3.5. Yeah, I don't know where that 2 came from. People just having a, a bad day or something like that and taking it out on me. Anyway, uh, as the result of that, I actually had a lot of blueprints. I already purchased the first two ones, the Southern Mansion, you know, which is pretty cool. And in the wedding, they're both entertainment, though. So they're kind of limited in their usability. I don't know, maybe I should put that in the Fjord area. Uh, I didn't even bother with the third one because I bought that for cash already. So here's the thing. I have 900 left. And looking right at the middle of the screen, I see how I can spend those 900. It is a little bit tempting to go for the area expansion items so that I could expand right now. Or the mountain ones, which means I could grab that mountain expansion right now. Doesn't cost me a thing. Um, I already previously purchased the items for the city storage. I, I did that as soon as I had the money available uh, because I knew I wasn't going to have to worry about buying two buildings. That is very tricky, you know? I mean, the thing is that I want the platinum keys. I do have a decent number, but still, you know, if you ever want to buy anything, they're really expensive. I really do need golden keys because they're vanishing fast on me. Um, See, I couldn't do the mountain and the area expansion. I'd have to pick one. All right, I'm going to, you know, I get the mountain stuff all the time. If I just need two of each, that shouldn't be a problem. So what I'm going to do is platinum keys and golden keys. Because I really need those keys. All right, and we're waiting, I guess, I think it's a day and a half now until that comes around again. All right, so I mentioned something unintentionally hilarious. So I happened to notice I was around here just before I was about to start filming this video, and I noticed 
wait a minute, I have a factory? I don't have a, I shouldn't have a factory. I'm full on factories. What is this factory that it says I have? Check this out. An ad powered factory. I mean, if I put this down, can I remove it? But I mean, I have to see this, right? I, you you got to see this. Uh, so let's just, let's just throw this down over here. We'll put it right there. Okay, so that is just, I, I got to see how this works. Okay, watch an ad to charge the factory and start production. Six charges left for today. Okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to watch the video. We'll be right back. Okay, so what can I do now? Can I do just one item? Is it going to do things faster? Okay, thank you for watching the video. Your, your factory is now charged and capable of producing goods for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, that's all. Wow, which means you can probably never do something that like two hours or something like that or seven hours because if you watched all six you'd only get an hour okay what is okay i can do plastic i suppose how much is this one that's three hours i mean i might as well just do the plastic because the plastic is nine minutes right all right let's do the plastic here i can use the other factory for something else because I'm currently doing this here. I can use this one for something else. Yeah, that is, um, that's hilarious. That is just hilarious. An ad powered factory. All right, I'll watch that video in a moment. Yeah, um, I'm surprised we only have one of them available to us. It must be a, um, um, a testing thing. By the way, I, did I get anything for okay so this is the green advancement here see if i can get over here i can get a free mountain expansion the thing is that you know the first one is only two each so i think i would want to hold on to that because this is going to be going i think another two weeks or something like that oh yeah about 11 days and 19 hours right so i would leave that there because i wouldn't want to spend that on something inexpensive you know the first more uh, the first mountain one over there is going to be two of each if i use that i could use this for something that's like 10 of each because it's a free expansion the thing is that once you have it you have to use it i was actually wondering you know do i actually want to go um premium this month i mean it's not very much and i have money loaded into my google account that i'm not using i mean there's a couple of cool things in here like this and if I get far enough down the line, you know, I get a, a beach expansion. And of course, then you get some, some nice gold coins and such like that. So if you get all the way down here, you know, you get this speedway, which is kind of cool looking. And uh, well, I hope to get this, which is still on the free side. But I was thinking about that. So it's like five bucks or something like that. So I was considering it. I still do have time. You know, the way it works is you buy it and then you get everything that was down below that you've unlocked already. I guess maybe it depends on how far I get. I mean, I shouldn't have a lot of trouble getting to 19. It really depends. Sometimes they don't give you things that are easy to unlock, if you know what I mean. We'll have to see. I am considering it. I still have time to consider it here. And, of course, we have a new set of, um, of these. It's funny because two of them I can't do, and that's Vote in the Design Challenge right there. And one at the bottom over here is Upgrade Homes in the Design Challenge. I'm wondering, you know what? what I, should have, I should have held off on the expansions because I could, have, I could have used this one down here. Where is it? There was an expansion, wasn't there? Where, I could have sworn I saw it. It's probably there and I'm just not seeing it. And I do have these. So I got some shovels. Yeah, because we were using the red coins for updates. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting over here. You know, if I got the city storage items, I could probably upgrade. How far behind am I on that? I mean, it's not bad. I wouldn't want to spend mo I wouldn't want to spend the bucks on that. I mean, I have 2100 bucks, but I wouldn't want to spend I would do it for the second one for two of them, but when you're talking about five, that's a lot. I'd like to be able to get those. 
Although, you know what I saw the other day? And this, when my inventory was full, I looked at this and I saw it. So what I do on occasion is I'll go looking around to see if people have, uh, you know, free items in their bases. So I'll pick something that's kind of hard to make, if you know what I mean, kind of hard to make. I mean, look, you can actually buy these uh, mountain items pretty inexpensively if you look at them, right? Um, anyway, I went to a place. We'll pick the pizza. And the person was selling the storage items. You know, the storage unlock items? They had stacks of five of them, three, one of each kind, and they were like 3200 each. But I couldn't buy any of them because I didn't have any room in my storage. And I was like, I could have just bought with coins an upgrade. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, why don't we just get that mountain expansion right now? All right, first things first. The reason I come over here and the reason I look around, oh, free item. Okay, not what I would have wanted. All right, so let's just back right out. It's a good way to look for things. Hold on a minute here. You have two of those. Here, let me just see what you have here. You know, I'm going to buy that. Okay, so I got the hats. I got the hats. Oh, by the way, since I'm here, do you have anything that I want? Okay, it's only a small area. What is that? That looks like a cool little place right there. All right, let's go on back. Maybe I can actually buy the items I need right now. We can do that mountain expansion. And I have some place to put my mountain items there. You know what I mean? All right, let's uh, go back over here. Okay, three. I don't need three. Do you have any twos around? Yes, I see a two. I will buy that. All right, and since I'm here... Oh, there we go. You know, I had like 12 of these, and I sold a full stack, and I still have a bunch of them. See, they give you items that generally nobody asks for, I mean, I had like 13 cheese because they just give you things, but they don't... I guess maybe I'm using the lower level stuff up a lot. It's just that I seem to get a lot of those things. All right, so what is the one item I need now? I think I got the hat. Here, hold it a minute. Let's go all the way down. All right, so I have the hat and I have the, uh, I guess, the surfboard. So... Uh, Let's see if maybe I can luck into the last item, which I do believe is that up there. Oh, two of them. Perfect. Boom. I mean, normally this wouldn't be very efficient. Oh, he put the speed track there. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing he's premium. All right, so let's go on back. Because I do believe that I can now open up that mountain area. At least the first one. Alright, so let's go over to the fjords. So I can do some pining. Alright, this one right here. Oh, I'm an idiot. I bought the wrong one. Everybody was laughing at me while I did that, didn't they? Okay. I went to that guy, but I bought the wrong thing. Oh, how terrible is that? Okay, well, you know... Let's actually I can just do it from here, can't I? All right. Maybe I'll buy the right one this time. Okay, there we go. We'll try this again. I'm guessing there were multiple items and I just bought the wrong one. Just looking. Somebody likes sweets. All right, let's do it right this time. I'm going to probably end up selling that one too. All right, let's get back home. And let's open this up. Boom. Okay, how much is the next one worth? Yeah, that one is a little pricey. I mean, if I could get the mountain item thing, well, you know, I'll hold on to the hats for now. You never know. All right, but that does mean I could put some stuff down. So why don't we just do... At least for now, where's the, tra where's the train stop? All right, we'll put the train stop down. So... All right, that's going to increase my population by a huge amount there. Okay, from 222 to 310. Yeah, it, it, they'll get better. They'll get better. 
Oh, do I have the fish? I should have the fish now, shouldn't I? Yep, I have the fish. Okay, and start working on more fish. Okay, that means I can at very least do one of them right now. That one right there. Yeah, that currency is just hard to come by, isn't it? All right, and I just needed a, um, I needed plastic, and I'll take care of that later. All right, I'll see what I can do about this. Anyway, I do have a new place to play, and hopefully, okay, that's useful. That's very useful indeed. I need more of those. All right, I'm gonna let that go for later. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I just wanted to take care of a couple things. I had a problem there, of course, and I turned it into an opportunity. And now, of course, I can actually grab these things and be ready for the next design challenge because everything you see in there is for the next design challenge. You need the shovels. You need lots of nails. They ask for watches and the hats and such a lot. It's just they don't really ask for things like the... Um, the, the cheesecake and the cheese and such like that, they very rarely get asked for. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.